Hi guys, Blackbox here. In this video I'll show you how to fly a non-precision approach by just using the modes track and uh, FPA, flight path angle. Now usually a non-precision approach would be flown using NAV flight path angle or even final approach mode. However, there could be circumstances where you would be forced to fly a non-position approach by using the very basic modes track and flight path angle. Now this would be the case, for example, if uh, both GPS have failed or the NAV accuracy is low. The progress page shows whether the accuracy is high or low. In this example, the accuracy is high. So today we'll be flying a VOR approach into Frankfurt runway 7 right. On the MCDU we'll select Frankfurt, then arrivals, scroll down until we find the VOR 7 right approach. Since we are on our way towards Romeo India Delta, we'll select approach via Romeo India Delta. Even though we're going to fly the approach completely conventional, I'm still going to check the uh, waypoints. Now comparing the stored waypoints and altitudes and uh, cross-checking those with the approach plate, we can see that uh, the waypoints and altitudes are the same. For example, at 12 DME Frankfurt VOR, the crossing altitude is 2830 feet and at 8 DME Frankfurt it is 1560 feet which equals the final altitude. Next we'll program the MCDU approach page. QNH is triple niner, temperature of 18 degrees and the wind is 070 at 8. On the approach chart we can see that the MDA is 810 feet. Since we rely on conventional navigation we have to uh, put in Frankfurt VOR on uh, VR1 and VR2 and I'm also selecting Foxtrot Whiskey Beacon. So let's do a quick briefing of the approach the minimum sector altitude is uh, 3,500 feet. The approach starts at 4,000 feet. Descent point at 15.6 from Foxtrot, Foxtrot Mike, DME. The profile has 3 degrees and the inbound course is an offset course of 066 degrees. The runway has a course of 068 degrees. We'll check the final altitude at 8 dme Foxtrot Foxtrot Mike at 1560 feet. The MDA is 810 feet. The missed approach goes straight ahead 1 dme Foxtrot Foxtrot Mike inbound Foxtrot Foxtrot Mike. Then right turn will intercept the radial 088 outbound Foxtrot Foxtrot Mike until 8 dme or 5000 feet whichever is later and then we'll turn right towards Reed, maintaining 5,000 feet. Okay, approach checklist. Briefing is performed and MDA 810 feet set. Okay, so we're on the base leg now. Flaps 1. Lufthansa 455, turning right heading 020, cleared the VOR approach, runway 7 right. Now that we're on a intercept heading, I'm gonna press the track FPA button on the FCU. 
and we'll check the FMA and it says uh, track flaps 2 also on the primary flight display you can see the flight path director and the flight path vector in order to make the approach less dynamic I'm selecting speed 160 knots now we're approaching the inbound radial and so we'll turn right to intercept the inbound course of 066 degrees. Next I'm gonna select the ROSE VOR mode. This way I can uh, see the lateral displacement a lot quicker. Now we're gonna have to watch the descent point which is coming up at 15.6 DME Fox Fox Mike. I've already selected the missed approach altitude of 5000 feet in order to uh, enable the descent out of 4000 feet. For some reason the FS Labs 320 doesn't descend with the flight path angle. If the altitude selected in the FCU is the same as the current altitude. So I've already set minus 3.0 degrees flight path angle. However, in order to activate this I'll have to pull on the knob and this I will do about uh, 0.3 miles before the actual descent point. Check that the mode has actually activated on the FMA. The nice thing about the FPA function is that the flight management guidance system will calculate how much rate of descent it has to uh, use in order to meet the 3 degree glide path. If you were doing the descent via vertical speed mode you yourself would have to calculate the rate of descent. Now even though the vertical deviation bar is displayed on the primary flight display, you have to conventionally recheck the distance and correct altitude. On the approach chart we can see that at 13.0 DME Foxtrot Foxtrot Mike DME we have a crossing altitude of 3150 feet. Lufthansa 455, contact tower 109.9, bye-bye. Frankfurt Tower, good evening, Lufthansa 455 on the VOR 7 right. Continue approach, Lufthansa 455, okay, 13 DME, and so we're about uh, 50 feet high. Now I have to adjust the flight path angle a little bit to increase the rate of descent. Now at 12 dME I should be at 2830 feet. So I'm still a little bit high but uh, approaching the glide path again. Now don't forget to monitor the inbound radio and correct the track if necessary. Okay next altitude check is at 11 dME Fox Fox Mike. Altitude should be 2520 feet. The aircraft is again perfectly on the correct glide path and so I've adjusted the flight path angle to 3 degrees again. Lufthansa 455, clear to land, 7 right. At 9 DME the altitude should be 1880 feet. Looks uh, pretty good to me. Let's do the landing checklist. We have uh, landing no blue. Now at 8 DME we have the final altitude check of 1560 feet. Final altitude is checked. Manual thrust.
1,000. 1,000 checked. Approaching 70 me, altitude should be 1,240 feet. Okay, runway is in sight. Hundred above. Five hundred. Minimum. Continue. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. Okay, so this is how to fly in a conventional non-precision approach using the track FPA function. If you have any further questions, post a comment down below. And as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you, happy landings, and I'll see you in the next one.